Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and today's lecture we will see the multi-threading model. And in this class, let us try to understand what is thread, single threaded process and multi-threaded process as well as user level thread and kernel level thread. Let us see all these things one by one. Thread is a very basic unit of CPU utilization that is a very small quantity of code that will execute on the CPU is called as thread. And every thread is having its own ID, thread ID, program counter that is PC and register state, set of registers and stack. Okay. See here we are having two uh, thread models here, first one is single threaded process and second one is multi threaded process. In all these things we are having code, code is nothing but a small program that will be execute this particular process that is called as thread, okay code and data, data is nothing but the global variable and files, files the external data that is used to for executing this particular code and set of registers that is CPU registers and <coughs> the stack stack is used to, to store the intermediate results intermediate results okay so every thread is having a code a code data files register set of registers all set of registers and a stack and it chats with other threads belongs to the same process its code, data and other operating system resources such as files and signals. See, when come to multi-threaded process, the code, data and files will be shared by all the threads, all the threads, but each and every thread is having its own set of registers and own set of stack. Okay, see, these portions are common for all the threads that is code data files will be common for all the threads that is a single process which executes multiple thread then the code will be common for all the threads and data will be common for all the threads. But every thread is having its own set of registers and stack. And next multi-threading, multi-threading means multiple tasks within the applications can be implemented by separate thread that is that is for each thread a separate task will be assigned in an application okay and most modern applications are supported this multi threaded only in multi threaded applications a separate thread for update display fetch data spell checking and answer a network request for example suppose i am going to use a web browser web browser all this work will be executed separately hence each process each task is assigned to a separate thread so multiple threads will be executed simultaneously in this process here process creation is heavy weight process creation is heavy weight while thread creation is lightweight that means see if you a single program the program can create more number of process okay this is the process and in, in a single process we can have more number of threads in a single process more number of threads will be there okay hence process creation is heavy weight and thread creation is lightweight because in the thread we can assign a very small task but process can compress for a heavy task okay and if we use this a thread then it can simplify the code and efficiency will get increased then if we use the multi-threading model and kernels are generally multi-threaded kernel can support this multi-threading model we are having two types of thread first one is user level and second one is kernel level kernel level thread okay first let us see the user level thread user level threads implemented in user level libraries 
so in user level see this is user level and this is kernel level os level otherwise okay so user level thread will use only the user level libraries hence it does not required system calls for executing this thread okay if it is kernel level then only we can use this system calls otherwise the function call is more than sufficient to execute this user level thread okay and thread switching does not need to call the operating system that is does not require this interrupt to the kernel because the user level thread will execute only in the user level it where it never disturb the operating system okay and the kernel nodes up, uh, based on the kernel's point of view the multiple thread may be treated as a single threaded process okay the kernel knows nothing about the user level threads and manages them as if they were single threaded process okay so based on the kernel point of view if there are multiple threads executing on the user level the kernel does not know anything about this multiple process that is multiple threads but the kernel will treat only the single thread everything that is the all the threads will be treated as a single thread by the kernel by the kernel right and next let us see the advantage of using the user level threads the user level threads does not required modification to the operating system okay because the user level thread will execute only in the user level user side and there is no interaction between the kernel system hence it does not required any modification to the operating system and second one is simple representation user level threads are very simple and each thread is represented simply by the pc pc means program counter register stack and small control block okay everything will be stored only in the user process address space okay it, there is no uh, intervention between the kernel here and simple management user level threads are very simple to manage that means creating a thread switching between the threads and synchronization between the threads everything will be done without intervention of the kernel this is important okay everything will be done only in the user side and the fourth one is this is fast and efficient okay that is the thread switching is not much more expensive than this procedure call okay procedure call is somewhat expensive kernel should interfere in this procedure call but when come to thread that is thread switching is very fast and efficient and next let us see the disadvantage of user level thread here there is a lack of coordination between threads and the operating system kernel okay because when kernel point of view if there may be a multiple threads the kernel will treat as a single threaded process right the process has whole gets one time slice because the kernel does not know whether the multiple threads are there in a single process hence it has to allocate a single time slice for executing all the multiple threads that is the user level multiple threads whether there is a single thread in a process or thousand threads in a process the os have to allocate a single time slice single time slice for executing all the threads okay the user level threads requires non blocking system calls because everything should be executed at a single one time slice hence it required non blocking system calls otherwise the entire process will be blocked in the kernel okay even there are runnable threads left in the process okay this is the very big disadvantage of user level thread because everything will be treated as a single thread by the kernel kernel does not know anything about the multiple thread available in the user level process right the next one is kernel level threads the kernel level threads are created and managed by the kernel system by the kernel here no runtime system is needed and the kernel is having its own thread table 
to keep track of all the threads in the system and the kernel is also having the process table to keep track of all the processes also ok. So, the kernel is going to maintain two different tables first one is thread table and the process table and operating system kernel provides a system call a separate system call for creating the threads managing the threads also ok. So, the thread will be created and managed by the system calls not in the user level functions. The advantage of kernel level thread here the kernel is having full knowledge about all the threads that is all the kernel level threads then the scheduler which is available in the kernel that will decide how much time should be given to the process which is having large number of threads and which is having small number of threads. That means the large number of threads the process which is having large number of threads will get more time to execute and the process which is having small number of threads will get less time ok. And the kernel level threads are especially good for the applications that frequently blocked because all the threads are well known to this kernel this is the advantage of kernel level threads. And next let us see the disadvantage of kernel level threads. Here the kernel level threads are slow and inefficient ok. Here the threads operations on 100 times slower than the user level threads that is the kernel level threads are 100 times slower than user level threads because the kernel should manage and schedule the threads as well as the processes ok. And for each thread the kernel should maintain this control that is thread control block that is TCP for each thread maintain the information about this thread. This is important and as a result there is a significant overhead and increasing the kernel complexity because the kernel need to maintain the separate uh, thread control block and process control block everything. So, this is the drawback of kernel level threads. Up to this we have seen the multi threading model uh, from second unit under this topic we have seen the threads single threaded process multi threaded process and user level thread advantage of user level thread and disadvantage of user level thread as well as the kernel level threads advantages and disadvantages. And this is the question time students please list the difference between single threaded process and the multi threaded process in the comment box ok. In the next class we will see another important topic from second unit thank you.